Hi everyone, welcome to another game between Alpha Zero playing white and Stockfish playing black. So we have Knight to F3 by Alpha Zero, Knight to F6, D4, E6, C4, B6, G3, Bishop to E7, Bishop to G2, and now Castles by Stockfish. Now normally black would play Bishop to B7 here, immediately getting onto this long diagonal. Because after this castle's move, well, Alpha Zero plays Knight to E5. And now Bishop to B7 is no longer possible because you would just take that Bishop. Stockfish plays C6, but now you can see after Bishop to B7, it's just hitting its own pawn, which is not so great. Alpha Zero continues Knight to C3, Bishop to B7, E4, and now Bishop to a6, uh, moving a piece twice in the opening. I think the idea is that after this e4 move, the a6 to f1 diagonal has been opened up. So after d5 by Stockfish in the future, if c takes d5, this bishop on a6 is going to be quite strong. Uh, b3, d6, knight to d3, d5, e5, Knight e8, c takes d5, c takes d5. So you can see that black's idea has worked here. This bishop is now quite a powerful piece. It's probably better than this bishop actually on g2 because it's just hitting a pretty solid black pawn. However, white has got a nice space advantage now in the center with these two pawns on d4 and e5. So alpha zero continues knight to e2. And now Stockfish looks at its position and it sees that one of its worst placed pieces is this knight on e8. And well, where could this knight go? f5 would be a nice square. So for this reason, g6 by Stockfish. And this prepares the maneuver knight to g7 and then knight to f5. The drawback of this is that it does weaken some dark squares around black's king here. So we have castles, knight to c6, a3, knight to g7, head into that f5 square, and now h4 by alpha zero. And this does a couple of things. First of all, we have maybe some aggressive intentions in the future with h5. This can't be played yet because the knight takes h5, but it's still an idea which might work in the future. And also maybe a dark squared bishop trade with bishop to g5 here. Um, if that were achievable, then the dark squares around the black king would become quite vulnerable. So we have king to h8, rook to e1, obviously right now bishop to g5, black will just take it and then take with the queen, winning a pawn. Uh, rook to c8, knight d f4. And now knight to f5, and black is putting some pressure on this d4 pawn, which does seem to be a little bit weak here. And just like Stockfish did before, Alpha Zero looks at its position. This bishop is not the best piece here. This knight is a strong piece, so it plays bishop to h3, trading off the bad piece with the good piece. Rook g8. Bishop takes f5, g takes f5, and you could argue that white has weakened its light squares around the king a bit, but to me, they just don't look very vulnerable. This bishop is nowhere near them, and I just don't think this affects white. And now, knight to h5 by white, and apparently alpha zero just didn't care that black will win this h4 pawn. Um, alpha zero seems to do this a lot. Bishop takes h4, and knight ef4 and despite the pawn deficit if anything this knight is just a really good piece now it looks a bit odd where it is but it's always going to be aiming at this f6 square which means that this bishop on h4 will always have to be defending that square which is annoying for black and also without the h4 pawn the h file is now opened for white in the future uh, rook to g4 king to g2 Bishop to e7, Bishop to e3, Knight to b8, Rook to c1, Knight e7, and now Queen to d2. 
And Alpha Zero is just working with its space advantage here, slowly building up its position. And it seems that uh, Stockfish did not really know what to do. And let me just mention that if Bishop takes a3 is ever played, then White has Rook to a3. And after, say, Queen to e7, Queen to a2, White will win a piece. So after uh, Knight d7, Queen to d2, Rook to g8. Uh, knight to h3, b5 by Stockfish, and I don't really see the point of this move. Seems to want to play b4, but after a4, it's not really clear what black has achieved, to be honest. Bishop to f4, and now I think we just see a weakness in Stockfish here. It just doesn't seem to know what to do when it doesn't have much space. It played rook to a8. And this just looks like a really bad move, to be honest. Um, Alpha Zero continued calmly, knight to g1, rook to g6. Once again, if bishop takes a3, just rook to a1. And now even though you have b4, well, the dark squares, they've been left behind around the king. And this bishop can no longer even move, so this would not be good for black. So after rook to g6, knight to f3, b4, a4, king to g8, rook to c2, and now bishop to c8 by stockfish. And this is really odd. It has put both of its pieces back in bed, like in their starting positions. And I just do not understand this play at all. It obviously just could not find a plan. Queen to c1, bishop back to a6 rook to d1, king to h8, and now we get the penetration, rook to c6. And now, bishop to e2 by stockfish, and I don't think it's the best idea to do this, because after rook to d2, you know, you've traded off the bishop for the knight, and that knight on f3, I don't think it was the best piece, and that bishop on a6 was decent, I think. Maybe it should have just retreated back to b7. And now after queen to e8 by stockfish, rook on d to c2, and we have an Alakang's gun here. And black is just losing now, completely powerless against the triples heavy pieces. Knight to b6, rook to c7. And now stockfish actually just gave up the knight with knight c4. It cannot do much against threats such as rook to b7, and move to c7 and just completely crushing on the seventh rank. Compare the rooks here to these rooks on a8 and g6. White is just dominating. And after knight to c4, white just took off the knight. b3, rook b2, bishop d8, rook c5. Bishop b6, rook b5, d takes c4, queen takes c4, and white is just off a piece h6, king g2, rook c8, queen d3, rook d8, d5, and here stockfish resigned. So it's interesting to see how, yeah, stockfish just seemed to crumble when it had less space and quite planned this position, despite being a pawn up. Okay, thank you very much for 